Stoger double defense, 12 gauge over under. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range today. And it's been a while since I've had out the Stoger double defense over under 12 gauge shotgun. And I really do like this a lot. It's a little more tactical looking anyways than the coach gun that I love. I have a Stoger coach gun and I think it's super cool. I also like this double defense over under. It has rails all throughout. You can see a rail up top. The, the slots in the rail don't go all the way through, or shall I say the slots go through, but the rail doesn't because it has a nice tunnel leading right to a green fiber optic front sight. Serrated rib, 20 inch barrels, fixed improved cylinder choke with the double defense. Has the action lever up top and extractors where you manually have to pull out the shells. A lot of people said, well, I want ejectors. And that would be great, but you don't see them too often on double barrels. Perhaps you do, I just don't see them too often. Oh, you may notice that I have new eye protection on. These are gators, it's spelled like alligator, with gators with a Z. I really like these. They are double hinged, and the glass is really strong, and they, they are super comfortable. I've been upgrading my gear uh, quite a bit lately. You can see I have Axel Ghost Strike 2 ear protection. I've been loving these. I love the, the gators. Let me take a few more shots. Each time the action is closed, you have to flip that thumb safety forward. Has a recoil pad here that the coach gun does not have. I certainly appreciate that. I'll take a few more shots. A nice quick trigger. Now I went with the single trigger model and I like that because it resets so quickly. The sun's shining in here. I want to make sure I have a good camera angle. But they reset really quick. And so a lot of people say, well, I like the double action. It's a matter of preference, whether it's the coach gun or the overall under double defense. There's that recoil pad. Synthetic stock, synthetic forend. Now, one of the things I like so much with double barrels is that the disassemble is so easy. Simply take off the fore end and then hit that action lever and just like that it comes apart. You can store it just about anywhere and it's very thin to transport. You put it back together, put that in there and then you put the, the fore end back on. Just like that and it's reassembled. I also got a new range bag. I want to show you that because I said I was upgrading my gear. I've been doing that quite a bit lately and I've, I've realized the importance of getting quality stuff. I've always known it, but when you, go, when you go a little bit cheaper, you end up regretting it and paying more uh, for it anyways. I got this new rifle bag made by Bone Dry. I kept this tag on here. It says goes in wet, comes out dry. It has absorbents there that is a material that will absorb any moisture that is left on your firearm. What I like about this is everything it offers. It has pockets here. You can store a handgun. Three pockets here. I store ammo. It's all Velcro, heavy buckles. You can see I've got some 12 gauge in there. And then on this pocket here, or in this pocket, is pretty large. You could even put the double defense in there once disassembled. Also has additional pockets. Pockets all throughout, containing the absorbents. And then here is the dual rifle bag. All right. And then what I really like are the back straps. You could tote this around and not really have to worry about grabbing it or taking up uh, a hand when you have other things to carry at the range. My other rifle case is on the bottom. You can see it's beat down quite a bit. The bone dry rifle case, the build quality is far better. You can tell by the stitching, the way the buckles feel, the way it feels on your back when toting it around the range. It's just a better all around range bag and it has that absorbance in there to relieve any moisture that is on your firearm. Uh, an added bonus to a very nice dual rifle case. The double defense has an MSRP of 429. And all things considered, that's not too bad. When you think about some of the coach guns out there are over a grand, even some 
uh, over-unders are over a grand, even on the Stoger site. So, you know, the, the synthetic stock keeps that down a bit. Let me go ahead and take a couple more shots here. Just like that. What I'm currently shooting are Fiocchi Dove Loads, seven and a half shot. Basically, it's a target load. It's called the Dove Load. But I'm also going to shoot some high velocity Fiocchi loads. Once again, I shut the action. I have to move that thumb safety forward. Automatically goes into safe mode. So here we go. Just like that. And we'll take out those shells. What I have here are high velocity. It's also a seven and a half shot, but it does offer a lot more recoil. Now, since I've owned this, I have shot just about everything. Double up buck, slugs, you name it. The turkey load, three inch magnum. Uh, it's handled it really well. And as far as comfortability goes, this is easier to shoot than my Stoger Coach gun. Even though I love that, and I love the history and the wood and everything that that offers, this has the recoil pad. Now you can get an upgraded model with the Coach gun with the recoil pad, but when you shoot those three inch magnum loads, let me tell you, you appreciate that much more than if you didn't have it. That part, I guarantee you. Here we go, heavier, uh, the high velocity and I certainly felt that it also has some jeweling right under the barrels there I don't know if that picks up it might but overall I really enjoy it I needed to revisit this because I have taken out my other shotguns but I haven't taken out this Stoger double defense as much as I should have and I needed to do that today the all black looks cool, a little more tactical, but it's an over under and it certainly gets the job done. Never had a problem with it and I certainly don't expect to in the future. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.